Okay, it's time for another SD gaming video and we're going to take a look at a game called Air Supply, published by Magic Bytes in 1990. And I have never heard of this one before or seen any ads, any reviews or anything of the like. So yeah, it's a bit of an obscure one. So uh, I'm just fearlessly going to dive in. Come on and join me. I dare you. And we have the option for a trainer, so I actually might... Uh, enable that later but let's just try this without it shall we magic bites often had really gorgeous graphics in the games and they quite often also were absolute pants garbage <laughs> let's hope this isn't one of them and here's a pretty neat little thing we can play kind of space invaders as the game loads it's pretty cool not that it's that necessary the loading times aren't that uh, that bad, but this is a pretty tough game. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all over. Almost uh, got the first wave there. Air supply! Yeah, I, I initially thought that the Space Invader thing was actually part of the main game, but but no. This is a shooter with lots of options here, and I have actually written these down, so hopefully I'm going to be able to kind of try them out. Apparently, we've got variable scrolling speeds and we can also do something called drop supply unit have no idea what that is and the coders of this game were also involved in apprentice which i had a look at maybe a couple of months ago can't quite remember which was pretty much garbage so uh yeah i haven't got high hopes for this to be perfectly honest but let's just uh, start it up the real world okay yeah, this looks real. Very real. Let's just uh, start blowing up the real world, shall we? And as you can see, this scrolls very smoothly. Oh, that was not something I could pick up. Uh, mission report, was that game over? <laughs> not sure. No, it wasn't. But the world seems to remain broken. Yeah, so you see there's a couple of buildings that I... Oh, uh, that I blew up before. Oh yeah, I've got lives down to the right. And I've got shields and so much stuff, really. <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to try and remember to press buttons. What's a supply unit? Let's see if we can drop one. Yeah, we can, we can resupply the... someone on the ground. And as you can see, the scrolling... Oh, I thought that was a pickup again! I... God! There we can drop supplies. Why would we do that? I'm not going to help anyone but myself here. <laughs> so, uh... Oh, God, what... Yeah, this variable speed on the scrolling, apparently. And it scrolls really smoothly. It kind of reminds me of Steve Buck and Gold Runner. Uh, really super smooth stuff and of course the background is really what's it what is it two bit planes or something that's probably why and why am i dropping stuff constantly here oh god yeah this is a pretty tough game help am i supposed to help oh yeah we can uh wh what's the button again i'm probably gonna su supposed to drop supply crates um on these buildings what was the button again could you please let me check the bloody button return Let's just drop one here. Did I? Did I? I don't know. This is a very hectic game. Uh, but it scrolls smoothly and it looks decent. But I don't like the variable scrolling. Why the hell am I... Why am I dropping supply crates there? I'm not pu pushing that button. I'm pushing the, the fire button. Maybe, uh, maybe there's some sort of conflict with the joystick and... Oh, I can go the other way. I didn't realize. Interesting. Huh. And we even get a hit and uh, yeah, hit ratio. Shots fired. Hit ratio is 46%. That's uh, garbage. And also, all of the supply units I dropped completely missed. Well, that's kind of cool. I, I kind of kind of like this somehow, but it's a little bit too difficult. But yeah, let's just uh, try it again. And this is kind of interesting. Uh, please wait, it says. Loading stage one. It's reloading stage one every time you restart the game. A little bit of a pain. It's not a huge amount of time you have to wait, but I mean... Eh. 
And I think we can change the color of the uh, yeah the world. That's kind of neat. By pressing C. Let's just see if we can turn around. Can I? No, I can't turn around this time. This is a bit of a weird game. Get some of those bees and see if we can maybe. Why doesn't the drop supply crate work anymore? That's weird. Oh my god, that was quite a bunch of enemies, that. Oh, there's quite a few bullets on screen here as well, and they're coming from all directions. No, please don't. No, it's not working. I'm not dropping the supply crates for some bizarre reason. It's return, right? Let me just check. I mean, the units kind of just disappear. Am I actually somehow still firing them off when I use my fire button? This is just so weird. It's got to be some sort of problems with the controls, surely. But I'm just going to yeah, keep keep shooting stuff. Because why not? Maybe I get new supply crates? Who knows? Oh yeah, this is this is really, really, really hard. Don't crash enemies. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Don't crash enemies. Am I not supposed to murder them? I can shoot them, but I can't have them crash. God forbid. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I managed to drop a unit there. But they still seem to... S Maybe if, if I hold the fire button, they drop. Let's just try that. Or something... I can hold the... F no. This... The controls are so weird. I held the fire button there and I did have auto-fire for a while and then all of a sudden it stopped working. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, and then it stops working. And when I start pressing the fire button, the units just disappear. And I can't fly the other direction. That only works sometimes. The game is just like it's... Oh, you want to play me? Oh, no, no, no. Only if I allow you to. This is such a weird game. I still kind of like it. At the same time, I think it's a bit garbage. <laughs> Doesn't make much sense. But hey, let's just swap the collars around. Gee, this is like a bullet hell shooter before that thing was a thing. And yeah, the units are gone. Maybe they just disappear automatically somehow because I'm too slow or something. Oh, good grief. What am I even hitting? I... Jeez. <laughs> you know, I'm going to try and disable the, the joystick control because something is really not right here. Okay, let's see if that helped maybe. No, it's still dropping units even though I'm just using the fire button. There's got to be something wrong with this. Surely. Yeah, you see I'm dropping all my my units. My supply units and I can't... For some reason I can't turn around anymore. Don't crash enemies! Okay, fine. But this is an absolutely bizarre. Oh, good grief. Shoot at this. It has potential, and I can't move up or down for whatever reason. And now, now it works. Kinda, sometimes. Come on, move! It's bizarre. I mean, the controls are absolute, either complete garbage or just an absolute mystery. Okay. Hopefully, I have it set up correctly now, the way I want it to be. And I'm just going to ignore dropping supply crates because that's just not working and there's just no way to move about. This screen is so crowded and so small. All right, real world, here I come with infinite lives. I wish I could get infinite supply crates. That's a nice little idea that you can actually um, drop supply crates and uh, hopefully get something good out of it. But too bad it's just not working controller-wise. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense I, that I drop all of them immediately. It's just weird. This is definitely a game I would really like to uh, like to like. I really want to like it. But man, it's just so insanely difficult. It's got some interesting ideas. It's quite different. But man... Let's just go the other way and this is everyone and their grandmother is after me now. 
And I think I managed to collect all the bullets there somehow. It's just amazing how I pick up every single bullet and smear it on my forehead. It's it's amazing. Perfect skills. Let's not go down. Let's go. Mm. I mean, it's so fast. This is insane. <laughs> Go the other way, please turn around, you silly ship! Or plane, or whatever you are. Oh god. I mean, I've got nowhere. I mean, absolutely nowhere. I mean, look at the speed of these ships, and then there's so many bullets on screen that I can't move to reposition myself. And what am I supposed to do? I mean, okay, I'm gonna try and do the, or use the, the mega bombs, or the smart bombs. Maybe that could make me survive for a little bit longer because I can't say, or can't see myself surviving very long. Ooh, we've got power-ups. That Oh, this is very, 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 very useful. Why did you give me this before, game? Oh, God damn it! I pressed the space key to do the smart bomb, but it... I oh, didn't respond in time. <laughs> and each round is just random, so you can't really learn the patterns here. That won't help you in any way, shape or form. And everything is just so stupidly fast compared to your plane. And the bullets will just corner you so quickly. And there's just no way out. If there's not bullets surrounding you, there's enemies. Don't touch the skull. All right, I'm sorry, I won't. What an absolutely bizarre little game, right? Oh, I got some bonus. That makes me feel a little bit better. No, don't go that way. Why are you going that way? Oh, God, I... Yeah, I'm just going to spam my um, smart bombs here. And stop changing the speed. Silly game. Give me that. Nope, missed that. Did I... Did I really get hit there? Wow! And the... And I'm pressing space. Was out of bombs already? Yeah, I think I was. Ugh. I can't stop playing this for some reason. It's just there's something about it. I want to get better at it. But it's just so insanely difficult. Have I mentioned that? Oh, come on. Die. Would you please? And I was out of smart bombs, of course. Also, do I really need to take off every single new life? <laughs> Can I just be back in the air? Can I get that, please? Oh, and then there's that thing hiding behind the other thing that is a pickup and I die. And then there's something from behind just showing up without warning. I would have loved to see set attack patterns there and not this random nonsense and could you turn around mm, yeah turn around please turn around turn around please no turn around oh yeah this turning around nonsense is really rather annoying i know you can kind of turn it off with the um with the controls but uh yeah it's neither option is particularly easy i bas oh, basically just collect bullets with my forehead Oh, look at the amount of enemies! And I press fire to detonate one of my smart bombs, and it takes about half a second before it reacts. And again, I think that's a power-up. It's not! Really, it's not. It's death. I mean, if they put some more time into this, trying to make it a little bit more manageable, this could have been really, really good. And again, I'm pressing space to detonate the smart bombs and nothing happens. I mean, look at it. Look, it's, it's, it's impossible. <laughs> it's insane. Avoid enemy shots. Really? Thanks for insulting me, game. Yeah, I really want to like this, but it's just way too frustrating. Avoid big plane bombs. Thank you, game. I didn't realize. That's going to change everything. And the fucking patterns, they are just... I, they seem to be random every time. <laughs> the attack patterns. And then the plane just decides to turn around for some bizarre 
reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's me that just get into the wrong position here. Mm. Stop throwing candy at me. It's not in the mood for that. Okay, it's going slightly better now. But I'm going to be dead soon anyway. Oh, look at the amount of enemies. No, don't, don't, don't change the patterns on me here. Pat, yeah, okay. Silly helicopter. This, okay, that thing is just reversing. Okay, okay, this is going a bit better now. But it's just pure luck. Can I please grab that thing? Whatever it is. Please, please, please. Oh my god. Yeah, this is just absolutely hopeless. Avoid jet squadrons. Good, healthy advice game. Thank you. You know what? I'm going to give up. This is a game that I would really like to like, as I said, but it's just way too hard. Had they just made it a bit easier, I think this would have been really enjoyable. It's got a couple of nice and interesting ideas, and gameplay is actually decently fun for the few brief moments that you can stay alive. I also think there's something wrong with the controls, possibly an emulation issue or something like that, not sure. And since I couldn't find any English reviews for this game, I'm just going to say thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers!